Welcome to this video here. I am going to discuss about Eco Sounder. Well, this is the DNS syllabus and here in the syllabus, the unit 1.5 says explain Eco Sounder, its principle and working. So, let's talk about Eco Sounder. Well, Eco Sounder is also called as Eco Sounding Equipment that is in IMO Performance Standard. And the purpose of Eco Sounder is to provide reliable information on the depth of water under a ship. So this is the vessel and this is the depth. Well, this depth is called UKC or under keel clearance. Well, this is to aid in navigation, particularly when you are in a shallow water. Well, you may be wondering a term called sonar. Sonar means a sound navigation and ranging. Well, this is a white term for equipment used for sound energy in water. Well, uh, this uh, is a white term and this is used for measuring the speed of the ship and also measuring the depth that is under keel clearance. So, now let's move on to the principle. So, principle that use of a sound propagation technique to measure depth below the ship. Well, depth below the ship is uh, called UKC. That's what I just uh, discussed. So, basically, sound energy or also called acoustic energy is uh, transmitted vertically down and reflected back as echo after striking the seabed. So, this is the seabed or sea bottom and after striking it is received. Well, the time taken is measured and that time taken gives the depth of water. How? Because we know it very well that uh, speed is equal to distance over time. So, distance is going to be speed into time. Since the uh, pulse has to travel down and come back, so the depth is going to be distance by 2 and the distance is speed into time by 2. So, the very, very critical factor here is the time. The acoustic energy is the disturbance of energy which passes through the matter in the form of waves. Well, uh, acoustic energy is the energy which is concerning with the mechanical vibrations or related to mechanical vibrations. Well, now let's talk about speed of sound in water. Now, for the calculation purpose in Eco Sounder, we have taken as 1500 meter per second. However, actual speed can vary from 1445 to 1535 meter per second. Well, speed is affected by temperature, pressure and salinity. Now, let's talk about transmission of acoustic energy. So, let's talk about the forms of transmission. Well, it can be transmitted in the form of shorts or rapid pulses or also in the form of continuous waves. Well, this short and rapid pulses, that is the preferred form. Why? Because the transmission and reception can be taken by single transducer and I will explain what is the transducer later on. In case of continuous waves, if you require two transducer, one for transmitting and another one for reception. So, the transducer is the equipment which convert electrical pulses or electric pulses into acoustic energy or sound energy. Well, transmission frequency in eco sounder is about 30 to 55 kilohertz and that frequency is called ultrasonic frequency. Now, let's talk about parts of eco sounder or with the help of Brock diagram. The first thing is the recorder. Well, the purpose of the recorder is to, is to record and display the depth. So, what happens? It looks like that and that is kept on the bridge. So, the recorder can be of paper type or digital recording type. Now, let's talk about pulse generator. Well, pulse generator produces electrical pulses and these pulses are sent to transducer. 
Well, uh, this pulse generator can be a separate unit or it can be integrated with the display unit itself. Now, let's talk about transducer. Well, transducer is located at the bottom of the ship and there is a compartment called transducer compartment where it is located. The purpose of transducer is to convert electric pulses into acoustic energy or sound energy. Well, pulses are directed towards the seabed and after a reflection, they are converted back into electric pulses. So, uh, let me show the, this is how the transducer looks like. And if you see the transducer uh, from outside, that is how the echo sounder transducer looks like. Now, uh, whatever energy after striking from transducer has been received, that goes through amplifier. The purpose of amplifier is uh, the electrical signals from transducer are amplified and this is done to increase the strength of a received uh, signal. Well, internal clocks notes the time when the pulse is returned and computes the uh, depth and which is recorded on the display. Now let's talk about controls of eco sounder. Well, you need to follow manufacturer's instructions and that will be given in the operator's manual. Okay, of course, there can be installation manual and there can be other technical manual. You need to refer operator's manual and you will find the instructions how to operate eco sounder. Well, there will be various controls to adjust performance of equipment at various depths. So, let me give one example. Uh, this one is uh, one of the panel of uh, eco sounder. So, here this is draft and you can adjust draft and here uh, this is mute alarm. This sets alarm or mutes audible alarm. This is dimmer. This is to adjust dimmer and this one is brilliance. Well, this is auto mode, turns automatic mode on or off, right? And that is color, you can select color. And of course, you can do is plus minus raise or lower setting value, sets condition on menu. Then let's move on. Then there is a range scale and that can display range. This is gain control, which rotates to adjust gain. Well, there is uh, one more switch here. Uh, I mean, which is having various menu like uh, uh, history, logbook, uh, OS data, help, menu, uh, various modes are there. It depends on the uh, various types of uh, uh, eco sounder and uh, what kind of uh, manufacturer. Uh, that depends on the type of manufacturer and of course, this is the power switch. So, in general, uh, let me just uh, discuss a few uh, controls. So, let's talk about range switch. This is to select the range between which the depth is to be checked. Say, for example, you want to check the depth from 0 to 50 or 1 to 100 or 100 to 200 meters. So, basically, you should always check the lowest range first before shifting to higher range. Now, unit selector switch. This is also important that you need to select the unit whether you want the depth to be shown in fit, fathom or meter as required. Then there is another switch which is gain switch to adjust the sensitivity of the equipment. This is a adjusted such that the clearest eco line is recorded. Care should be taken not to be set too high or too low. A setting with speckled background is considered satisfactory. Okay, too high again will blacken the display and too low gain may not return enough eco to register on the display. Well, the eco, uh, the auto mode, it is to adjust the range scale and clutter level according to the depth. In auto mode, gain is adjusted obviously automatically. Now, if you are having the paper uh, eco sounder, then paper a speed control is to select a speed of the paper. Usually, two speeds are available. Then, there is a control called zero adjustment or a draft setting. The eco sounder will normally display the depth below the keel. 
However, uh, this switch can be used to find the total C depth, which we shall also study later on. Then let's talk about fix or event marker. This button is used to draw the line on the paper as marked to indicate certain time, e.g. passing a navigational mark when a position is plotted on the chart, etc. Transducer changeover switch. So in case a vessel has more than one switch, say the uh, in case the vessel is having more than one switch, that means more than one transducer, forward and aft, you can use that. Then uh, dimmer to illuminate the display as required. Okay. Now let's talk about some interesting terms called ranging and facing. Well, what happens in Eco Sounder that there is a a stylus which records on the paper or display. The stylus is mounted on circular belt. Well, the transmission starts when the stylus pass zero marks. Suppose this is the zero mark, then the transmission starts and it goes down like this. It strikes the C bed and come back, right? This way and this way. Well, the stylus is uh, rotating at constant speed and the transmission is going to start when it is at zero mark, right? Now, suppose you are measuring the large depth. So, what is happening? Uh, that when depth is large, the style, but the size of the display is same. So, you need to reduce the speed of uh, a stylus. So, this is a technique called arranging which says that the for larger depth the stylus speed has to be reduced to remain on paper or display unit for longer period. So what is happening is that the display size is same and depth measured has is increased so we are we have no option but to reduce the speed of stylus. So basically uh, the typical range scale says 0 to 50 or 0 to 100, 0 to 200, 0 to 300, etc. So basically range scale starts from 0 and goes to uh, whatever value is that excess meter, xx meter. Now when we are measuring for large depth, so what is happening? Now to overcome the problem of reduced speed of a stylus for measuring a large depth, we introduce another concept called and in this facing, the stylus speed is kept constant but transmission point is advanced. And how it is advanced? It is advanced with the help of various uh, sensors. There are various sensors which are placed around the belt. So now the scale. Uh, range scale suppose this is 0 to 100 the another scale instead of 0 to 200 it will be 100 to 200 200 to 300 uh, meter and so on or whatever the unit so uh, now let's talk about one more interesting aspect which is always start sounding at a lowest range and check for echoes adjust the gain control and then only switch over to higher range So let's talk about eco sounder errors. So first error is uh, we can call it as a speed error. We know it very well that speed for sound waves for calculation purpose is taken as 1500 meter per second. Well, an increase in temperature, salinity or pressure that is all kind of uh, atmospheric condition usually will increase the speed. So now let's talk about indicated depth and indicated depth is uh, 1500 into t that is the time taken divided by 2 but actual depth will be the actual speed which is 1550 little more and multiplied by t divided by 2. So we can say that actual depth is more than the indicated or indicated depth is less. So indicated depth is less than the actual depth. Now the application, let's talk about the Red Sea part. So Red Sea has having higher temperature and salinity. Well, 
debt shown is about 5% less than actual because of high temperature and salinity. Now, let us talk about uh, fresh water. So, speed of sound wave is less in fresh water than salt water. So, indicated depth in fresh water is more which is about 3 percent than actual depth. Well, you should exercise precautions when atmospheric conditions are abnormal. Now, let us talk about second transmission error. Well, uh, trans, uh, the echo sound, the transducer is transmitting the pulses. So, this is so this is pulse P1, it goes like this, it strikes the C wire and comes back. Then there is another one pulse P2 and goes and come back. So, suppose the pulse transmitted during previous transmission is received by the transducer. So, the time interval measured by internal clock will be for second pulse. So, basically what will happen that the depth shown will be almost half than the actual depth. This occurs rarely and what OW has to do is must verify, he must verify such occurrence by other means and this means is like comparing the depth on chart. Now, let us talk about effect of Scott. Scott is reduction of under keel clearance when the vessel moves. So, recorded depth of UKC, uh, the echo sounder records the depth uh, as UKC under keel clearance or depth under transducer irrespective of squat. So, when the squat is more than 2 meter, then it becomes critical. Well, the deep drafted vessel may require depths fore and aft. Hence, additional transducers are fitted forward and aft. Now, let us talk about chart comparison. Most eco sounders provide depth under transducer or UKC, not the actual depth. So, for actual depth, what you need to do, you need to consider the draft and also the height of tide. So, so that you can compare the depth on the chart. Well, excessive trim or list may affect overall under keel clearance. Now, let us talk about double echoes. Well, uh, transmitted pulses after reflection from seabed again are reflected either from the ship's hull or from water surface. Suppose this is the water surface. So, it goes, uh, the pulse goes like this, it strikes the water level and comes back or it, it strikes the ship's hull and comes back. So, the second echo, obviously, the second time when it strikes is never as strong as the first echo. So, on echo sounder display, you will have two layers. The weaker one is usually the double echo. What you have to do is change the selected depth scale or sensitivity and this will eliminate the double echo error. Similarly, let us talk about multiple echoes. Well, similar to double echoes, uh, the reflection takes place several times and this occurs in a larger depth greater than 100 meter. All you have to do adjust the sensitivity, selected depths or scale and it will improve the recording of depths. Now, let us talk about echoes from other objects in sea. So, some objects like seaweed, shoals or fish or plankton may register strong echoes. All you have to do use alternative means to cross check the depth. I think I must show some video of uh, seaweeds that will give you a better idea. So, these are the seaweeds. Right. Now, let us move on. Turbulence and aeration. So, what happened? Sound waves are reflected diffusely uh, due to air pockets or bubbles. Diffusely means uh, they are scattered in many directions. Now, we will have two terms called aeration and turbulence. So, aeration is the uh, refers to the bubbles which pass close to the transducer and reflect and diffuse uh, 
uh, transmitted energy that is the aeration now let's talk about turbulence the reason for air pockets or bubbles cause is called turbulence well it could be a rough weather cross current or eddies this is showing the eddies and uh, when the vessel is moving astern on engine so in this case actually you should switch over the forward transducer if fitted well if the vessel goes astern the capability of eco sounder is severely affected now another case is you are giving a rudder hard over which may cause a drastic alteration and also in case of pitching in light condition also cause turbulence then we'll have pythagoras error so in this case this is the outward ship uh, view and the transmitter is located away from receiver so what happens uh, this is the length like this but the depth given is this one this is the depth so the depth given is nothing but l square minus this is d by 2 because total distance is d so d square by 4 so in modern equipment the difference in length through which the caustic pulse have to travel is accounted for well uh, there is another error which is interference from other eco sounders so pulse transmitted from one eco sounder are received by the eco sounder of another ship well this may happen in high traffic areas and whenever it happens there will be complete blockage of display unit well, you, all you have to do, use the gain control and you can eliminate this error. Now, let's talk about transducer location. Well, the sighting of this uh, transducer is an important concern for proper functioning and it should be located away from areas close to the source of noise. That means the areas where you can have the possible stream of air bubbles due to aeration. So, we know it very well, the turbulence around the bow and stern of the ship. So, this is the vessel. You will have turbulence near the propeller and near the bow area. Exact location of bow waves depend on the shape of bow, the speed and draft of the ship. And general rule is that around one quarter length, that is 25% or L by 4 of the length, this is the area where we should avoid. And this area also should be avoided. So now let's talk about IMO performance standards. All you have to do just uh, let's study some basics of IMO performance standards, right? So uh, the purpose of eco sounding equipment is to provide reliable information on depth of water under the ship to aid navigation, in particular in shallow water. Now. Application. Eco sounding equipment should comply with the following performance requirement. The performance standards are applicable for ships speed up from 0 to 30 knots. The sound speed in water for the purpose of this standard is taken as 1500 meter per second. Operational requirement. Now let's talk about range of depth. Under normal propagation and seabed uh, reflectability conditions, the equipment should be capable of measuring any clearance under the transducer between 2 meter and 200 meters. Well, now let's talk about range scale. The equipment should provide a minimum of two range scale, one of which for the shallow range, which covers up to 20 meter, and the other for deep range should cover up to 200 meters. The display record should show at least 15 meter of sounding. So these are some basic performance standard which uh, we should uh, uh, just pay attention. Pulse repetition rate, rolling and pitching, say rolling plus minus 10 degree and pitching plus minus 5 degree. Now let's talk about data storage. It should be possible to record on paper recording or other means the information about depths and associated time for 12 hours. Now let's talk about accuracy. Based on sound 
speed in water of 1500 meter per second, the tolerance of indicated depth plus minus 0 0.5 meter for 20 meter range and plus minus sorry plus minus 0 0.5 meter for 20 meter range and plus minus 5 meter for 200 meter range and plus minus 2.5 percent of the indicated depth whichever is greater. Now malfunction alarm and indication depth alarm and alarm signal both visual and audible with mute function should be provided. Alarm signal both visual and audible with mute function to the navigator on the watch should be provided to indicate failure or, or a reduction in the power supply to echo sounder, which would affect the safe operation of the equipment. Now let's talk about presentation of information. The graphical display should be capable of showing depths mark at intervals not larger than one tenth of the range scale in use and the time marks an interval not exceeding five minutes. Well, for paper recording, when the paper is remaining is less than one meter, you should get some indication. Now, let us talk about care and maintenance. Well, you should check the voltage supplied to stylus as per the manual. Do not paint transducer during dry dock. Uh, you need to clean eco sounder as per the manual. You got to read the technical manual. Lubricate as per manual. Calibrate using hand lead line so that you measure the depth and then you compare what the, is the depth shown by the eco sounder. Ensure uh, sufficient paper roll. Generally, usually this is the duty of uh, second officer and ensure one spare stylus is kept.